Hey gang. So it's been a while. We haven't chatted for ages, but I don't have a whole lot of time. So I just want to touch base on this uh, Battle Century 21 from uh, Tactics and Strategy, uh, the Polish game company. Really, really interesting system. And I, and I think there's awesome potential. And I'll try and give you a couple of reasons why and then tell you why I'm not playing anymore. Uh, the first thing that I like about it is when you set up your scenario, you're given, for instance, uh, a British battalion of forces to choose from. So you've got your challenges, you've got various types of units, and you've got mobile artillery and mechanized infantry, and you've got uh, perhaps some other another formation they'll have. Uh, might be some SAS, there might be some um, uh, paratroopers and engineers and helos and all sorts of stuff. And you have a set of points that you're allowed to bring every turn, you're allowed to bring so many strength points of units onto the board. And a maximum number of uh, uh, strength points that you're allowed for the scenario. So that's interesting. You get to pick out you know, what, what, you, what you want to bring in and kind of build your, your force mix based on the scenario. So I was playing this Basra scenario where the British are coming in to, uh, the English forces are coming in to <coughs> take on the Iraqis. And so we had, uh, you know, I think basically a full battalion of uh, armor, and then there was a, a, a mixed infantry battalion, and you could pick from Paris and even SAS and all sorts of stuff, and Hilo uh, airborne infantry and Helos and stuff. So what I did was I broke, you like to bring 60 strength points in a turn, and so I broke it up into chunks of 60, and I picked, cherry picked up all the HQ and, you know, squadron of tanks and these guys and the mechanized guys, and then put them into chunks and you bring those on each turn. Very cool, right? So you, you've got that uh, capability there. And there's two concepts inside the game, uh, strength points and these um, uh, endurance points, EPs. And uh, so a tank, for instance, might have a series of numbers on a chart that go, let me just bring it up on a screen so I can see it and get this right for you. Uh, you see it quickly and I can't see it because it's too small. Uh, so you would have, let's say you've got, oh, here we go, T-72. They have a whole bunch of endurance points, but they go 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1. And other, other you know, different types of units go 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 and scale down, right? So the endurance points, are, uh, well, a strength point is the two sevens, and then you go down one more point, it's two sixes, and you go from there, right? So that's how you re you measure the the um, SP of a unit. It's kind of cool. Uh, that show that's also the size of the formation as well. That's how many points you're going to be allowed to bring on. Okay, so <clears throat> so those that's really cool. The uh, turn sequence is interesting because you kind of get to move and counter counter attack. You've got the fire and then counter fire. Uh, and then you drop air, you know, you've got air units that can be uh, used and all that sort of stuff. So it's got a nice interactive game sequence concept. Uh, you have ranged fire, so you, you're shooting from, you know, uh, a kilometer away and stuff like that, which is kind of interesting. Nice maps, crappy counters, uh, very little information on the counters. And that's when things start to kind of get weird, is that there's not enough information counters to really help you remember what's going on. So you, you know, you're turning things uh, sideways. How many times did I shoot that guy? And I've got to you know, check off uh, ammunition on the ammunition track. There are no rules for the, that I can see anyway for ammunition resupply. Given the time scale of uh, you know, a couple of hours per turn, we would expect that we would be able to resupply over the course of the scenario, but I'm not seeing how that is done. Um, because you can you can blow through a, a squadron's ammo in one turn, you know, with six shots or seven shots, you can be done with a T seventy two. It's got two, four, six, seven, seven shots, right? Um, so poorly worded rules, interesting gameplay, really mediocre uh, charts that aren't terribly well organized, nice maps, weak, thin counters. I'd almost want to, you know, not make two copies of the, buy two copies of the game, but you put, if you put two copies of the counters together, they'd be thick enough. 
Uh, plus they peel really easily. The stickers come off them really, off the counters really easily. The paper's starting to peel. Um, and they're often not cut properly on the back, so the paper paper's not cut through on the backs of the counters. So the die cut has not gone through. So no ammunition rules. Rules layout issues. Some polish still stuck in the rules in certain places. And this is all going to get fixed. I spoke to the designer and some guy, Devin, I think his name is, is going to help rewrite the rules a little bit or has offered to help rewrite the rules. I've spent a bunch of hours on them and gone through them and summarized stuff and I'm still struggling. I'm still looking at rules to try and work out what the heck's going on. So my rules reading ratio to chip moving hex and counter engagement is way out of whack. We got hours and hours here and minutes and minutes here. And I'm two turns into it and I don't need to be any more turns into it and I'm done. Uh, so when the new rules come out or if new rules come out that are cleaned up and all the bits and pieces that need to be in there are in there, I absolutely want to have a look at it because I think it's an interesting look at modern combat. Um, you know, choosing your force mix, uh, moving your units, having this uh, ability to move and fire, move and fire, move and fire is very cool with the tanks. Uh, I'd like to understand the air rules a little better. They seem uh, uh, a little wacky. I don't know where the units really go on the map when you put them on. You kind of put them within a certain range and are they shooting at one unit or more than one unit? There's all sorts of little bits and pieces that I'm spending lots and lots of time looking things up for. And the designer has been incredibly responsive, uh, responsive so I really appreciate all that. And it's all, everything's good as a company. Uh, <clears throat> there's just massive language barriers and the rules are weak. Now, my understanding is that the World War II rules and other game system rules are very strong. And that's fabulous. I don't need any more World War II games and I'm not interested in other Napoleonic systems or Moscow and Pike or anything like that. I got, I'm, I'm at quota for all that stuff. I'm really looking at cool, innovative, new, fresh designs for modern combat because there really aren't any. Uh, and I know what's going on out there on the big old worldwide web for game design, but come on guys, let's make some modern games. Let's uh, deal with modern topics. Uh, it'd be really nice to see some new systems being uh, created. All right, I gotta go before my phone rings and uh, love you guys, take it easy. Did I just say I love you guys? I don't love you guys, screw you guys. Have a great day, later.